exposed metal is a 316L stainless steel, so it's not gonna corrode, um, it's not gonna rust, it's not gonna do any of that stuff. Like uh, what you guys see here on this bracket for the uh, KMTC11 tower enclosure, that's all 316L stainless steel. And those brackets are a pretty big cost of the uh, enclosure itself because we wanted that enclosure to hold up to the elements and to, uh, sorry, I can't, I can't get it back. Uh, <laughs> hold up to the elements, not rust and things like that. So we actually include any C's with the bolts as well so that they don't corrode and uh, stay stick inside of there. But, Another good uh, thing about the 316L is it's, it will resist heat, right? So we've all seen, like let's say at the, at the park district, some of these park districts will have like a grill out there, right? And you see the bottom, they're supposed to be stainless steel, but the bottoms are all uh, pitted and, and gone through the bottom. So it's because the high heat. 316 stainless steel will also pit and corrode in high heat. Doesn't re it doesn't handle high heat because of the carbon that's in there. That's mm -hmm. why the L stands for less carbon. So it's going to withstand uh, pitting and corrosion through being exposed to the sun because these aren't ever exposed to the sun, right? Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> it's going to stand up to salt water fog. So good example of salt water fog. Do you remember we were in Mexico? So just in case you guys didn't know, Jacob and I are pretty tight. You know, we, we, we hang out quite a bit. Uh, my kids love him. My son thinks he's his, his favorite babysitter. <laughs> but we've also vacationed together when we were in yeah, Mexico. Yeah. Remember at the bar that we were at the pool, that it looked like it had so many layers of paint on it, right? Mm, oh, so, yeah. They just kept slapping paint over the, over the structure. But, like, you could clearly see underneath that it was rusting away. They just kept doing the landlord special on it. And the, I love that. Oh, it's you, right? Still water landlord special. Well, that's the big deal with salt water fog. It is very corrosive. Even outside the hotel, the TVs that they had outside, mm -hmm. they were outdoor TVs. But it was that salt water fog is very corrosive. So these will stand up to salt water fog. All of our marine lineup is designed to withstand. And we have a, we have a special way of testing for salt water fog as well. So, I mean, we, we, we do the stuff right so it's... It can last, and it could, how do I say, it could be reliable mm -hmm. through time. So it, you got you, what you're spending money on with our product is technology and safety. You got it. Yep. Big deal. Yep. Um, and if you guys have ever seen a car, like if you're big into classic cars, and you've ever looked at cars that came from like a coastal area or like uh, in the Rust Belt, you've seen what can happen to those exposed frames, and or uh, even on like certain boats that weren't really taken care of and cleaned like they were supposed to after each boating season, you can see that salt water really starts to, to corrode things and, and be hard on them. But uh, a couple things that we do to cut down on that is uh, with our marine speakers, we, when we rebooted and redesigned the line, uh, we made that basket out of composite materials moving forward. <clears throat> so this is going to be like a nylon composite material on the basket and uh, it's gonna be resistant to sunlight, it's resistant to UV damage, so it's not gonna fade or anything like that, and it's also resistant to corrosion. Um, that nylon holds up really well, but what we've also done is we've taken and made that motor structure completely sealed on the backside. That way, water can't encroach and get to the voice coil or the electronics of that speaker, so you've got twofold protection with that kind of a basket. And on the front side of the speaker, we took and we removed the tweeter post. So if you guys look inside of there, uh, you can see that that tweeter is being held up by those kind of spider legs in front of the, uh, the speaker. And there's no hole in the center of that speaker for water to get down to the voice coil and uh, things like that. But, um, you know, it, it's really, really cool what we've done with these. We've also taken and we co-molded that surround to the cone. And what co-molding is, is uh, when you have like an injection molded thing, you actually mold those two different materials together in the manufacturing process. So you're not just like stitching and gluing them together so there are no holes again for water to encroach through. They're co-molded, they're chemically bonded, water's not gonna get through that surround in that cone. But everything that we've done with these speakers is just to make them as resistant to water and resistant to sunlight as possible.